Hey folks, Coach Patrick here in Durst Nation. I want to welcome you to another special Three Bullets broadcast. This is our chance to give you three key tips for your next big race. Today's edition is talking about Ironman Lake Placid, which has been redone as of this season for 2019 to be just a little bit different than the past. So I want to give you an updated Three Bullets version of it, okay? So the change for this year is really straightforward, but I think it will have a big impact on the overall nature of the race which is moving the bike course out of the turn into whiteface and simply having an out and back uh, version um, at the top past Papa Bear. Um, there's also um, an amended out and back section over to Hazleton Road as well. Overall, I believe the course is about two to three minutes faster per loop if you do it right than it was last year. Of course, it all depends on conditions. But regardless, let me tell you about my top three bullets for Ironman Lake Plus this year. Number one, it's been hot out there. So as you think about the swim, I want you to be ready, be prepared to have a non-wetsuit legal swim. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. It's a deep lake. There's a lot of water in that lake, but it has been warm for about two weeks up there and it's gonna continue being warm through the day itself. You have to at least be prepared to have a non-wetsuit legal swim. So when you get up there, if you don't have a skin suit, maybe something you wanna check out, or at least have an alternative plan and you wanna spend at least one lap in the lake swimming without a wetsuit, just so you're comfortable doing it. Just in case the occasion should arise, you are ready. If it doesn't and you swim in your wetsuit, bonus, wetsuit swim time, okay? We wanna be ready. Key bullet number two on the bike is going to be pacing yourself out of town. People forget that the departure point from Lake Placid heading out of town is not the top of the climb. The top of the climb happens out on the lakes. It happens about 45 minutes to an hour from town itself. And you have to pace yourself heading out on lap one. You're full of exuberance. You survive the swim. You're so excited to get after it. You go too hard there. And on the second lap time around, that's where you start to bleed time. So pace yourself. Remember, the 20 mile mark is down the bottom and keen. You will hit 20 miles on race day faster than you've ever biked 20 miles on the flats before. It's irregardless of whether it takes you 47 minutes or 49 or 50 minutes on the way out. That first block of time is about getting settled on the bike, starting that great nutrition plan and getting ready to execute an excellent 112 mile bike ride. It all starts right there at the beginning. Start that smart pacing, okay? Uh, finally, the third key bullet for the Lake Placid uh, Ironman comes in the run. And when you think about the run, it's essentially a tale of two courses. It's net hit downhill on the way out, 6.55, and it's or six, and it's net uphill on the way back, probably closer to seven right there, like 6.9, right? When you do that math, you've got a little more climbing back in than you do on the way out. You do have that out and back by the lake. But more importantly, people underestimate the cost of the return trip to town. So what happens is as they set out on their journey and they're going downhill, they're seeing numbers on the dial that they love. They're falling in love with it. And when they turn around and start coming back, they try as hard as they can to hold on to those numbers. That's not your job. Your job is to run at an effort that would allow you to slow down less than the competition over the last leg back into town, those last six miles. Mile 18, the line as we call it inside Endurance Nation in our four keys of race protocol, that happens out there on River Road, way out in the out and back. It's quiet out there, there's nobody out there, and that is when you're gonna need your energy the most. So pace appropriately, run downhill in a relaxed, comfortable, yet fast manner. Enjoy the speed, but don't work for it. On the way back in as they hit the hills, don't push the hills every time you hit one. Run up them, smart, focused, great stride, great cadence. Find your speed on the flats, find your happiness on the flats, and the second lap when the hills are just in your face and you've gotta get up them to finish the race, you'll have the energy and the mental strength to do it. Have a fantastic, safe race. We will see you out there. We love going to Lake Placid every year. Be sure to check out our Four Keys talk on Friday, 10 a.m. at the Main Street Theater. See you guys.